In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, today's liturgy invites us to be staunch promoters of the Word of God and our faith. Let us pray for this grace in this Eucharistic celebration. And my brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and in what I've failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. participate in this Eucharist. This Eucharist is offered in thanksgiving in honor of Saint Anthony by Leslie, Norona and family. Let us pray for their intention. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. In those days, the priests and the prophets said to the officials and to all the people, This man deserves the sentence of death because he has prophesied against this city as you have heard with your own ears. Then Jeremiah spoke to all the officials and all the people saying, the Lord sent me to prophesy against this house and this city all the words you have heard. Now therefore mend your ways and your deeds and obey the voice of the Lord your God and the Lord will relent of the disaster that he has pronounced against you. But as for me, behold, I am in your hands. Do with me as seems good and right to you. Only know for certain that if you put me to death, you will bring innocent blood upon yourselves 
and upon this city and its inhabitants for in truth the lord has sent me to you to speak all these words in your ears then the officials and all the people said to the priests and the prophets this man does not deserve the sentence of death for he has spoken to us in the name of the lord our god but the hand of ahikam the son of shaphan was with jeremiah so that he was not given over to the people to be put to death the word of the lord our response to the psalm shall be at an acceptable time o lord answer me at an acceptable time o lord answer me rescue me from sinking in the mud from those who hate me deliver me save me from the waters of the deep lest the waves overwhelm me let not the deep engulf me nor the pit close its mouth on me a response at an acceptable time o lord answer me as for me in my poverty and pain let your salvation o god raise me up then i will praise god's name with a song i will glorify him with thanksgiving response at an acceptable time o lord answer me the poor when they see it will be glad and god seeking hearts will revive for the lord listens to the needy and does not spurn his own in their chains a response at an acceptable time o lord answer me kindly rise for the gospel hallelujah 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 blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake For oh, this is the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time Herod the tetrarch heard about the fame of Jesus and he said to his servants This is John the Baptist he has been raised from the dead that is why this miraculous powers are at work in him For Herod had seized John and bound him and put him in prison for the sake of Herodias his brother philip's wife because john had been saying to him it is not lawful for you to have her and though he wanted to put him to death he feared the people because they held him to be a prophet but when herod's birthday came the daughter of herodias danced before the company and pleased herod so that he promised with an oath to give her whatever she might ask prompted by her mother she said give me the head of john the baptist here on a platter and the king was sorry but because of his oaths and his gifts he commanded it to be given he sent and had john beheaded in the prison and his head was brought on a platter and given to the girl and she brought it to her mother and his disciples came and took the body and buried it and they went and told jesus the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ My dear friends sometimes in the old testament 
prophet spoke uh, words of comfort and hope to God's people. But this was not the case always. At times they spoke about destruction. And today we have the first reading taken from the book of prophet Jeremiah. Prophet Jeremiah spoke about the destruction to the Israelites if they did not do away with idolatry. Now this message was not very pleasing to the people. And so the members of the king's court got together and they plotted to kill Jeremiah and silence this message. And they passed a sentence on Jeremiah saying that this man deserves death. Down the centuries later, we find John the Baptist. His faithful witness also received a similar response. John the Baptist spoke the truth to Herod. He said and he dared to say to Herod that his marriage was immoral. Although Herod was mesmerized by John's preaching, he put him into prison. And when the time came, when he got a chance, he beheaded him. But even after the death of John the Baptist, the message of John the Baptist would ring deep down in Herod. And he thought that Jesus was John the Baptist come back to life performing miracles, doing, proclaiming the word of God in order to shame him. My dear friends, in today's era too, there is persecution. Proclaiming the word of God is not easy. It is met with stiff opposition. There are attempts to silence the good news. Many churches are bombed. Many people who are staunch proclaimers of the gospel are put to death. People who believe in Christ are asked to denounce Christ and go away from Christ. Maybe in Goa we might not face such a situation, but in many parts of India around the world, religious persecution still exists. St. Paul reminds us, if one part suffers, all the parts suffer with it. We form a family union with Christ. In Christ, we are one. We should realize that. When our Christian brothers, sisters are persecuted, we need to empathize with them. We need to feel for them. What can we do? The best thing that we can do is pray for our persecuted brothers and sisters and support them financially if possible. As we participate in this Eucharist, let us ask our Heavenly Father to give us grace to be strong in our faith in times of trials and tribulations and help us to strengthen and sustain our Christian brothers whose lives, because of their witness, are in danger. Let us pray for this grace in this Eucharistic celebration. Except Almighty Father, these gifts of bread and wine, which now the priest is offering for us before thy shrine. But soon thou wilt make him his body and his blood. The sacrifice renew Thank you. 
what thou givest me. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy children. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, and through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word through whom you have made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you, O holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross, by your cross and, resurrection, and resurrection you, you have, have set, set us, us free. free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Philip Neri our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. 
and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, Saint Joseph Vaz, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamp of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Since we cannot receive Jesus at this moment sacramentally, let us make an act of spiritual communion and experience the presence of Jesus who is in us, who dwells in our hearts, who abides in us. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.